The last plenary before the summer recess should see some important legislation brought to a conclusion. On Monday, transport will be in the spotlight with debates about intelligent transport systems and a sustainable future for transport. Of a more immediate effect to citizens will be new passenger rights. We've already uh, passenger rights for air, for aviation and also for, for trains. Now the next step is buses and coaches and, uh, and ships. On Tuesday, the financial supervision package will be on the agenda, with a gap between what the Parliament wants and what the Member States want having widened in recent months. Another sticking point between the House and the Council seems set to finally be overcome, however. On the transfer of European banking data to the US in the name of combating terrorism, the so-called SWIFT agreement, a compromise acceptable to the majority of members has been found. The good thing about it is it gives us the possibility to have control on the procedure and that we are still in the loop of the process, meaning that after three years the latest, the Parliament will have the possibility again to have a look into the agreement. One issue on the agenda guaranteed to bring out fiery debate within the House is the future of the common agricultural policy, scheduled for Thursday morning. And last but not least, there will be a review of the Spanish presidency of the EU and the presentation by the Belgian caretaker government about its plans for the Belgian EU presidency, which has just started today. Pour avoir une vraie présidence ambitieuse, il faut aussi un gouvernement en bonne et due forme uh, qui puisse avoir les coups des franches aussi, et donc pas un, un gouvernement en affaires courantes. Follow the plenary live and watch our reports and analysis here on europaltv.eu.